Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Uh, today, we are going to do something fun. We're going to explore a Bagua meditation that I, I really, really like. And it's uh, it's got all kinds of possibilities. It's not terribly uh, difficult, uh, but it has real uh, potential for big juju. And um, it's uh, a it's called a grass dragon meditation or qigong. And um, so there, there are three types of, uh, of bagua dragons, I guess. And then uh, one is the grass dragon. That's like, you know, the earthiest of them. And then there's a um, um, wind dragon and then a cloud dragon. So there's, there's three of those. And then, then of course we get into lions and tigers and that's, there's, so there's all kinds of possibilities for these meditations. But this one's really cool. Um, the key to it is that you're wagging your tail. So you gotta imagine this big old dragon tail that's uh, right there where your tail would be if you were a dragon and you get to wag it. And that wagging of the tail is, it um, has a very powerful effect on your, your Ren and your Du channels. The Ren channel is your conception vessel that runs up the, the, the front center of your, your body and the, the Du channel runs up the spine. And um, so the, uh, the tail is, is right at the, at the tail bone, your um, coccyx. And on one side of that is the do one, that's your, the first uh, point on the do channel. And then on the other side at the hui yin, which is between your anus and your, uh, your genitals, <clears throat> is the uh, is Ren one or the first point on the conception vessel. So anyway, what you're doing, these are two the two main channels, energy channels in the uh, in the body and they uh, is what we're what we're dealing with when we talk about the microcosmic orbit or the macro macrocosmic orbit. It's um, these are the ones that are the the big reservoirs that, that kind of feed all the other meridians. So what this does is it, by wagging your tail, you're going to be kind of bridging the gap there between these two and then you're creating a, a very powerful energy which is, moves up the, the Ren and the Du channels. And um, so we had that and that's, that's our, our, our central point. So we're, we're going to actually feel into that. So there's a, when the body moves, you're, you're going to feel that, that tail wagging. And um, the, um, then there, there are two other points. Like, let me go back to the grass dragon uh, for a moment here. The, uh, the way that Master Yong Fukui uh, explained it to me was, he says it's, uh, the grass dragon is kind of like a crocodile. It's very low and and you know very uh, uh, very directed and very intent. And uh, so there's a, it's a your your e is focus. Your mind intent is really focused when you're when you're doing this. So the uh, there are two sets of points that. Uh, on the bladder meridian. So the bladder meridian is as two channels that run down on either side of your spine. And um, the inner channel, the one that's closest to the spine uh, is the one we're gonna be focusing on. And at the very top here, right here, uh, here's your, my spine, so right about there is the do, the 
Dujen. And down here at the uh, right, uh, just uh, on the butt, right above the, uh, at the right beside the uh, sacrum, there's the um, uh, by by Huanchen. And uh, don't worry if you know, don't remember those words. I'm going to be using them just because it's a way of talking to you about this. But so we got these two points up here, the Du Jin and the Bai, Huen, Bai Huan Jin. And all you have to do is remember, you got to keep them lined up. So whenever you're on the right side, you know, you're, you're using the, you're feeling into the, 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 uh, those two points on the bladder meridian, the uh, Du Jin and uh, the uh, Da Jin, not Du Jin, but the Da Jin and the uh, uh, da Shu, I'm sorry, Da Shu, and the uh, and then the other one, the um, um, the Bai Huan Chu. Um, so anyway, those are uh, those are the uh, those points there. So we're going to be moving those in concert. So the idea here is that you're moving your scapular right here, and uh, the thing here. You want to get that, and at the same time, the hip is is moving. So this this part of your, your, your butt. So when you're wagging the tail, you're not just, it's not just disconnected. You're not, your butt's not just going like that. It's, there's a whole thing. Your, the, the back torso is moving as a unit and there's an energetic connection to it. So you're moving from, from wholeness whenever you do that. And so we're plugging into this and it, it creates this very, profound connected feeling that it allows the energy from the earth to come up and, and move through the, you know, through the body in it's very um, integrated way. So uh, uh, that's the, uh, the, 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 the short version of this. And um, um, let's see, is there anything else important to know? No, I think uh, we just got, oh, uh, the hands. Yes, thank you. The producer uh, reminded me of the hands. The hands, fingers are spread really wide and you're really kind of reaching out with the little finger. You're, and the idea is you got your, your hands are, are like this. They're open, not straining, but they're open reaching and there's this quality of like your you're turning with your with your hands so we get these these arms are reaching out and the hands are are they're they're uh, they're rounded and they're uh, uh, open and so that's uh, that's adds to the so what we're talking to a lot of what's happening here and this is not classical Chinese idea here, we're getting into the tensegrity of the whole system, which allows the, the tensegrity of your connective tissue system, which allows these, the energy and information to travel throughout your whole body mind uh, instantaneously or virtually instantaneously. So, uh, uh, whenever we get this 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 connection, this dragon connection, the tensegrity is is has reached an optimal state because your your tensegrity is is there if you're alive. Just the fact that you've got a body and you've got trillions of cell, cells that are are hanging out together, and the, the tensegrity means that the connective tissue system is is stringing them together somehow, but just like uh, the sails on a on a uh, a sailing vessel, if the sail is very slack, it's not giving you much in the way of power. But if you fill the sail and you really pull those those um, cables, uh, ropes, you know, you pull pull them taut, then you're able to the the whole sailboat acts as a as a unit. And so what we're looking for there is to to really fill our sails as we're we're doing this, and we do that by finding our optimal 
tensegrity. So we're looking to tune the instrument of our bodies so that we find, ah, not too much, not too little. So we find this, this exact right amount of energy and also resilient strength that, uh, uh, that comes with it. And that goes from the hands as well, that having your hands reaching like that kind of lengthens and creates a more of an optimal tensegrity in that. So um, if there are any questions on anything I've said so far before we get into the actual doing of this, Scott. Um, not a question, but uh, this sounds like it's going to be a little complicated over Zoom, so really slow might be helpful. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that. We're going we're gonna to take baby steps on this. Okay, like, so thanks, sounds thanks, like fun, uh, thanks for that tip. And uh, if, I, if I am going too fast, send up a flare and uh, we will uh, we'll cut it back. Okay, so why don't you stand up and we'll uh, we'll get to, get to work here. So let's first let's get our um, three pillars. We want to establish our central equilibrium. Feel that central pillar reaching with the crown of the head, feeling into the balls of the feet. Start with the balls of the feet. You want to, knees are unlocked. Relax your lower back and allow your tail to drop. Tuck in your chin and open the jade pillow gate. Push away from the earth and then spiral down and turn and really get sung in your qua. Get that nice and relaxed. Reach with your elbows, point your index fingers, feel your energetic coherence and, and begin by spreading your fingers a little bit. So you're really feeling that expansiveness. You're feeling the chi in your hands and instantly. So we have our three pillars established. Now, keeping your central equilibrium, shift into your heels and feel yourself sinking into the earth. So the feel the energy moving in a downward direction down through your feet into the earth, grounding and cleansing. Now feel the balls of your feet. Press down with your big toe and just really feel, feel that young impulse here, feel that expansive quality. And then back into your heels, keeping your central equilibrium. Feel the yin. Okay, now go into the balls of your feet. Reach with the wrists. Reaching forward and out. Reach with the fingers. Open the fingers. And feel between the, the space between your, your shoulder blades, your scapula. Your wrists and your elbows and your shoulders are on the same plane. You sink into your heels and feel your tail. Don't wag it yet. Just feel that, feel your tailbone, your coccyx. You want to. Get a, you know, a sense of that because 
that's going to be the the pivot point from our emotions. We're going to be pivoting from the coccyx, wagging our tail, but we're not yet. Now feel those feel those two points that the uh, dot drew on the uh, uh, by the shoulder blades up near your neck. That's a bladder eleven, I believe, and the um, by Huan Zhu at the uh, just above your tailbone to the side. Maybe like, uh, let's say two inches above and to the side of the of the of the spine. You want to feel those. Now, feel the your right heel and just sink into your right claw. So you're just moving laterally, but you're sinking down into that. Feel the ball of the right foot and use that to shift into your left leg the heel of your left foot, your left claw, you're sinking into that, you've moved. So now your weight is about 90% in your left leg. Still feel those, those points, still feel your, your tail and those bladder points. And you're gonna feel the ball of your left foot and you're going to shift into your right, the heel of your right foot, you sink into that. So feel yourself going down, nice and yin and that, and then ball of the foot, yang, and shift back into the left heel, sink. Now feel the ball of the left foot and come up a little bit. You're rising a little bit and then sink down and into the heel of the right foot. And feel the ball of the right foot and rise up into the right side. And then sink uh, into the right, the, the right heel. I feel the ball of the right foot and rise up in the right side. And then sink into the heel of the left foot. And then ball the left foot and rise up in the left leg. So what we're doing is here, we're, we're left up and then sink and then right and then right up and then sink and then right up and then sink and then left up and then sink. So we're going back and forth like that. We want to keep the that torso one unit. Feel that extension through your arms, through your fingers, coming up with the left and then down to the left and sink into the right, up with the right, and then down to the right. Up with the right, and then down to the right, and down to the left, up with the left, and down, sink. And back to center. And hands come down.
So now we're going to, as we sink into the, the right leg, say, we're going to rise up so that the there's a slight slope to the shoulders as we rise up with the, with the right leg and then back down. And then we're gonna rise up with the left leg. So you can feel that it's kind of rocking a little bit like, like, uh, like our sail, sailboat kind of going side to side there as, a, as the waves come in. So we, we're gonna sink into the, uh, gonna come up with the left leg so come up with the left leg and then you're raising, but you want to keep this in a plane, your arms in the same plane as you're doing this. So it's not like the arms are going up and down. The arms are staying, they're staying the same. You're, you're reaching out with those hands like that. And you're, as if you're, you're going to, you're that, that crocodile, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to grab something. You, you're, you're looking, you're, there's, there's a, an outward reach with that. So you're coming up and then down and sink into your right leg and then the right comes up and your shoulder and elbow and wrists are still on the same plane. Both of them are, but they're just, ah, you're sinking down and up, down, back to center and then up on the left side down on the right side. Down and up on the right side. And down on the left side. And down. And then let's come down. Just pause and feel into your hands, feel into your arms, feel the feel the chi that's that's coursing through your body right now. Feel that dragon power that is being cultivated here. Now we're going to get to wag our tails. The idea here is is. Whenever I come up, I'm circling up. I'm circling up with the right hip and then circling down. And then circling up with the left hip and then circling down. So there's, it, you're going up and down and then up and down, right? So this is the yang phase. We're going up like that. We're gonna just do that now. So we're here. So hands come up. So we um, sink into the, uh, so sink into the left leg and then into the right heel and then the right ball and then circle up your right, you're circling your hip up and turning and then down sink into your left and then come up in your left and you're, you're circling up there and then down and back to even. And then right. You're wagging your tail and your whole torso is moving as a unit. Those points are moving and then you're, you're wagging your tail and coming down. Wagging your tail and ah, left. That's the yang phase. And now we're going to do the yin. And the yin, we're going to sink into the left leg. The left, the left shoulder comes down left hand, the whole system comes down and then you're going to circle up and then the right comes down and then you're circling up that way. So left, 
down, and then up, and then right down, wagging your tail. And then the hands come down. Come up, reaching out, spread those fingers. One, come up, circling up, wagging the tail down, left, up, reaching down, right, up, wag, left. Right, left, and then the yin. Sink at your left, coming up, circling up, and, and then circle down with the right. Left. Right. Left. Right. And down. So that was an exaggerated motion to really get into the, the physicality of it. So now let's take it and bring it a little more internal. Arms come up. And right. This is soft and gentle. Still that extension, left, nice and slow. And feel into that, the pause in between each of these movements. Feel your tail, feel those points reaching, circling with your hip. Left, right, left. In. Left, right, left, right. Come down. So this is a very powerful exercise 
for a lot of things. But one of the things that it, it is very helpful for is healing the back, for creating space between the between the uh, the vertebrae, and to release chronic tension along the spine. You get the chi moving in the channeled and meridians along the spine. And also you can and change it. We've been doing it primarily focusing on down here, and that the area they right at the uh, 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 around the sacrum, that's your kidney area. That's for the kidney chi. And then above that, right in the, in the lumbar area, that's for spleen chi. And then if you focus at the area of the, uh, uh, the rib cage of the diaphragm, then we're getting into spleen chi or into uh, liver chi. And um, then the heart, and then at the at the upper level there is uh, the uh, lungs. So all these your your five um, yin organs are addressed by this, but you can focus on it. So let's just say we're, we're going up here. We're gonna do it at the heart level. So at the, at the level of the chest, same idea here that we're, we're moving, but, but you can, your awareness is at the, at the heart level. And we do it in groups of three. Under, left sink, wag your tail. Rotation. Rotation. So they, it's the same idea here. You're you're moving. You're getting your 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 hips are still are, they're they're circling, but you're your awareness is at the at the at the at the heart level. And so you can do the, each of those those different sections there. But if it doesn't matter the, it takes care of all of that if you just if you just go through the because it's like it's really a fundamental kind of kind of uh, healing uh, a meditation. The hands come down. You just pause a moment and just allow that energy to circulate and do whatever healing it needs to do. You go into the balls of your feet and feel that, that young expansion. And go into your heels and feel the yin sinking, maintaining your central equilibrium, but grounding through your heel and into the earth, down, down, down. Yeah, that very dense connection 
that dense energetic connection with the earth. And step in. Use the heels. Open the balls of your feet and feel the yang opening, filling into the heels and ah, disappear the chi. Please have a seat. Rick. Disappear the chi. If <laughs> I disappeared the chi, I would have drowned my downstairs neighbor. <laughs> that was a lightning storm there was one moment at the second at the end of the second where a jolt went through my entire body but this side of my skull sort of went careful careful <laughs> and i i had to actively redirect and spread it throughout like what did you say 150 this is the one week 155 <laughs> 154, 155. 155. Watch you pull a rabbit out of a hat. If, mm -hmm. if no one else's hat, then my hat. <laughs> Incredible. Carry on. <laughs> Sharon. Um, when we were going slow, I really could differentiate what was happening. I could really feel the different energies. And what was happening for me is when I was coming back to center, it's almost like there was an emptiness there. Mm, beautiful. You know, and I felt, I felt like I was part of the earth. <laughs> beautiful. That, uh, <laughs> terrific. Yeah. Thank you. Scott. So I have a um, burning, overwhelming desire to start collecting my hoard. <laughs> uh, hoard of gold. Dragons have hoards. And I understand why dragons breathe fire now because they have to get rid of the heat somehow. <laughs> it warmed things up a little bit. Wow. But um, yeah, that was that was almost as good as a visit to a chiropractor. My back and everything was just cracking and popping. It was really, really wild. Mm, beautiful. And the um, just like the power in it, I just felt like if I if I got hit by a truck, the bed truck would have bounced off of me. That's the way. <laughs> I felt it. it does feel that way, doesn't it? It's like really did, yeah. Holy. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool, thank you. <laughs> That's great. I felt I felt the same way. It's like ah, yeah, baby, <laughs> I'm ready. When? So um, it felt good, but I'm not taking on any Mack trucks right now. Um, but I. I wasn't fully able to always, I mean, I, I got it, I got the feel of it, but when we were doing it bigger, I was trying to parse the mental versus the physical here, right? And so when we were doing it bigger, I was feeling the physical get in the way. Um, and I was, when I did it smaller with less sort of physical and more just sort of mental, um, I really felt much more powerful. Um, 
but I, I'm just kind of wondering whether I'm missing something physical doing that because, um, you know, I was moving the energy, you know, in, up and down where it was, but I wasn't sure I was feeling the points along the way in all that. And, and I don't know um, if that's just, I need, it's the first time I've ever done it. I needed a lot of, I need to time to concentrate on things or <sighs> what's, what's your between physical and mental sort of balance going on there? The, what, 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 I don't know about physical and mental. I, you know, for me, it's, it's more, um, it's beyond mental. It's more into eye of spirit whenever you're, oh, yeah. Yeah. when you're getting into it. So it's, it's, so it's beyond thinking it, the thinking process and yeah, into, no. I think, I think that's what you're talking about there. I just, I, I, I draw a distinction between the, the eye of spirit and the eye of mind. And, and so I, I, I want to, uh, uh, I think, I think it's what you're talking about there. You're, you're, you're able to, you're able to attune to the energies in that, from that higher state. And, uh, and so it seems like why bother me with this physical stuff? <laughs> but oh, it's, yeah, there, there, there is there is a, a benefit yeah. from from getting the eye of flesh involved with this. There, there's right. a, and that's what I'm trying to figure out is how do I keep the eye of flesh without losing the eye of mind? Because you're right. I mean, slow, it, slow it down. Slow it way down. Okay. okay. Slow it way down and really feel into it each way you know we can we can uh if we have time we can do it we can do it again much slower and if people are up for it and uh but the uh you know really attuned to to that yeah i kind of wanted you to get the whole the whole feeling of it there and then and then we can go back and we can play around with a uh with fine tuning some of this stuff but it uh uh yeah so there is an advantage to getting the, the, the whole, ah, you know, must be. <laughs> you, you, you definitely want to be able to take on the Mack truck after that, that, that you know, if, if you're not getting that, then, then you're missing the, 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 the eye of flesh part, which is right. really, uh, it's kind of cool. So, cool. uh, <laughs> yeah, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay, cool. Richard. Um, was I correct to catch that there's a yang and a yin uh, aspect of this and that the yang begins with the raising of the shoulder, the yin begins with the dropping of the shoulder? That's the way I think of it. That's the way I think of it. And, uh, um, you know, it's not e explicit in the teaching, but it's, uh, it's it, you know, uh, this feels yin and, and this this feels young to me, you know, and uh, so it's a, it's a way I talk about it. It's my relationship to it. So uh, I, uh, I I can't I can't really say, you know, in terms of the uh, traditional, but but I, it's a safe bet. But there are two halves. One is the rising half. The other is the dropping half. Right. Oh, okay. You thank it, you. you. Like three reps, young. Three reps, yin. Yeah. You know. Got it. Uh, to get that so that's uh that's kind of a bagua thing they like right. the, they like their things in threes right but thank you bet scott um just what i found uh was i just followed your directions from the beginning and you know when i was moving on the right side i felt the two points on the right and i felt reach with the fingers and felt between the fingers and i didn't really worry so much about the movements you know i just felt those two points on the side that i was moving and felt my fingers the whole time, and you just, the energy just comes. That's what I think. Beautiful. Uh, and it's one of those things that it has many layers so that you can, you know, you can focus on that and then you can focus on something different. You know, the, you know, you know I really uh, emphasize that, you know, that tail is the pivot point on this. It's what makes the, uh, the Renma and the Duma you know, it really connects that up and and stirs the pot. So you uh, you want to get that going because that is that really uh, uh, pumps pumps up the juice. Someone else had their hand up. Uh, Valerina. 
Um, I'm kind of in the same boat with Lynn. I wouldn't have used those words, but she stated it very eloquently. Um, this can't be the only class that we devote to this. We have to do this next week. Okay. Because okay? I'm just feel like I'm just, <laughs> I'm just scratching it. Um, <laughs> I mean, I felt a lot of energy, uh, you know, and I really got the, the, the claws and, you know, the dragon thing going. But yeah, I, I need, I'm, I'm going to need more than just tonight. Please. That's what I'll ask next week. Is the, I, let's revisit. I, I this is, it's a lot of fun. It, uh, you know, and uh, it, uh, like Scott says, it, it raises the temperature. <laughs> so uh, cool. Yeah. Uh, that can make the same so let's uh, uh, want to want to do this again. Everybody up for it? Let's okay. Let's do it again. So take a moment and find your stillness. Find your three pillars. And then tune into your, uh, sink into your heels and get very in, really empty out. Feel into the wuji, the emptiness. And go to the balls of the feet, and reach with the wrists. And open the fingers, reach with the elbows. And sink into your heels and feel the yin. Still reaching, still feeling that. And feel into your tail. The very tiny wags of your tail so that no one would even notice that you're wagging. But just so that you have that internal sense you're shifting your awareness down to your coccyx. And that tail just wants to, really wants to wag. It's just, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Feel the, the dashu and the bai huan shu those points along your spine on both sides. Connect those up. Connect those up to the bubbling well in your feet. You want to feel the uh, hui yin between your genitals and your anus. You want to feel the do one on the, on the coccyx. So you're loading up your, your energy and very gently, very slowly, you're going to circle with coming up with your right and then down, coming up with the left, circling down back to even. Circle up at the right. Down. Circle up at the left. Down.
circle up to the right. Feel that tail, you're wagging your tail, ah, coming down. And circle up with the left. Come back to even. Keep that extension, feel that tensegrity, feel those fingers, sink in your heels. You're still full of chi, but it's a yin chi right now. Back to the balls of the feet, reach the wrist coming up. Spread the fingers open. Going to yin, feel left, sink into your left. And back up, sink into your right. Sink into your left. to your right. Okay, tune into the emptiness between. Sink into your left. Let's come down, sink into your heels. You're reaching, you're opening. Shoulders, feel the, the elbows, the wrists, the fingers. Feel that connected to the scapular, feel a bit the spine. And step in. And the balls of your feet, deep breath, filling, filling. Young, expansive, into the heels and yin, yin, disappear, the chi, throw it away. Moving into the emptiness. You're not really disappearing the chi, you're throwing away the chi that you've already used. You're plugging into the big chi. <laughs> Please take a seat. <clears throat> Was that a dragon? <laughs> it was a sweaty dragon. I'm going to have to clean the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. You're on mute, Stan. Okay. Um, I felt like I was a big circus tent. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. And Bravo. I was just connected, you know, both up and down and all around. Fabulous. Yeah. Fabulous. That that yeah, that's what we're looking for. That's that's okay. great. Uh, Tensegrity on a big scale. Yeah. I love it. Good.
Mm. Scott. The energy was very different this at that time. It, it was, I don't, I don't know, I, I can't even quite describe it. More peaceful, maybe? Calm or, calm or something? It, well, it wasn't, it wasn't as new, so yeah. you're getting, a chance, to get, you're getting a, a chance to familiarize yourself with it. And it, uh, you know, you're getting, getting to know your dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Rick. Yeah, in my case, the first time my body was going, whoa, whoa, I don't know if I can handle this. But the second time was going, oh, yeah, okay, I know what to expect now. Let's go. So Beautiful. it could have been the same. Beautiful. Yeah, I think because uh, as we acclimate to this, it's like, okay, it's not a threat. It is, it's exciting, but it's not a threat. It's like, oh, boy, oh, boy, you know, uh, yeah, I can handle this. I can upgrade my wiring to to deal with this kind of uh this kind of energy flow richard um i i think it was very helpful the second time for me to start thinking about the about the connections good uh, to try to keep those together uh, yeah, it, it's, it's a lot to think of. And, and so to be able to, each time you do it, you can kind of like add on another layer right. of, 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 of like, oh, to the meditation. So it's like, we're able to tune it. Who of us thinks about those parts of our back on <laughs> ever, you know, it's like, it's like, you know, unless somebody's, you know, doing some, some acupressure or something on you, you know, it's like, yeah, you know, you don't even, you don't even go there, but to be able to to, oh, to have that as part of your awareness as you're moving through, you know, not terribly complex movements, but they're complex enough, is like, yeah, this is, this is cool. It's expansive. Cool. Yeah, Richard. Oh, you froze. I was just thinking it's almost like this point back into the line. We missed we missed a lot of that, Richard. You locked up. up. What did you start from the beginning? Oh, I just said I'm noticing that this point is seems to be able to pull this point back into where it needs to be. Oh, good. good. So I'm 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 noticing the chiropractic benefits already. Uh, Beautiful. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Good, Lynn. So I uh, it helped. I had Nick show me, touch me where I was, where my points should be. That really helped. Um, but also, I thought about as I'm watching you. What I see is is your shoulders, right? So I think first time I was thinking about somehow moving from my shoulders, even though you didn't say that, right? Wag the tail, right, you know? So second time I spent much more time with my coccyx and I didn't give a shit about what happened to my um, shoulders. And that, <clears throat> that, I think that worked, that worked better, definitely. Right. And, and right. stopping in the middle. So the, the, the second time you emphasize the come to neutral and then go again, the first time you didn't really emphasize that. Um, did you emphasize that because of the slowness? Do you always do that? Um, this is the first time I've taught this. So, you know, please, uh, you know, it, uh, it, it, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to communicate it, you know, and it just, uh, so you're, the, the second time through, I thought uh, went a little smoother from my end, you yeah. know, to, uh, I was able to, uh, to emphasize things a little bit better, you know, than, uh, than the first time. First time, I'm still like trying to think of how am I going to talk about this? And then the next time it's like, okay, well, nobody died when I did it the first time. So I can, that takes some of the, that takes some of the stress off. So, so now we can, we can move forward. Yeah, but, from well, my question is, I mean, I'm, I'm not critiquing or, or, or praising really. I'm asking when you do it, when you do it in your own practice, do you have that moment of stop? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and as I said before, whenever you brought up, you know, you immediately went to the the higher level uh, of uh, of you know, practice, and I'm saying there is an advantage from it in doing the 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 beginner level too. 
you know, yeah. to get to really get the get the physical part down because yeah, it, really yeah. it, 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 you know, does it helps to clear up the uh, the physicality, the spine and, and and the meridians and things like that, that that, you know, we don't touch if we're just uh, we're just up in the in the in the spiritual realm. Right. Cool. Good. And it'll be even better next week when we do it again. Even more better. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, everybody. Thank you, Maria. That's uh, thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria.